moving to Lincoln Park, Chicago, well today is gonna be your ultimate guide for everything you need to know about living in what I think is the best neighborhood in all of Chicago, Lincoln Park. So 10 years ago when I first moved to Chicago out of college, I actually lived in Lincoln Park. I ended up living there for seven years. During the pandemic, I made a move to a different place in River North where I currently am shooting this video. And in a month, I'm actually closing on a new place in Lincoln Park. So I'm going back to my roots and I love so many things about Lincoln Park that I've just missed for the last two years since I haven't lived there. And uh, getting back to my, my roots, I'm super excited about. So today we're gonna dive into everything you need to know about Lincoln Park, coming from somebody that's lived there for a total of about seven years and I'm getting ready to move back. So I love it. Um, there's a reason so many other people love Lincoln Park and we're gonna dive into that on this video today. If you're considering making the move to this vibrant and bustling neighborhood, you've come to the right place. And this video will cover everything you need to know about Lincoln Park, such as its boundaries, to its history, to things to do, schools, landmarks, transportation, fine dining, and much more. So let's go ahead and dive in. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Jordan Pyle. I am your go-to Chicago real estate agent. And if today's video has been helpful, do us a favor, like the video, comment down below anything else or any other questions or neighborhoods you'd like me to cover, any other guides you would like me to create so that you guys can get a better feel about certain neighborhoods in Chicago. So check out all the neighborhood guides down in the description. And if I can be of service to you, my team and I, we'd be honored to chat with you about your real estate goals. So feel free to just text the number on the screen if we can assist you. All right, guys, let's get into today's video about moving to Chicago, your ultimate guide. First things first, let's talk about the boundaries of Lincoln Park so you know exactly where it's located here in this beautiful city of Chicago. The neighborhood is located on the north side of Chicago and is bordered by the Chicago River to the west, Diversity Parkway to the south, Lake Michigan to the east, and North Avenue as the south border. It's known for its beautiful parks and lakefront, as well as its charming residential streets and bustling commercial areas. So before we get into some of the things to do in Lincoln Park, well, let's talk about the history of Lincoln Park because I actually think it's pretty fascinating. The neighborhood was once a part of the city's lakefront park, but in the late 19th century, it was developed into a residential neighborhood. It was originally a cemetery, as I mentioned on a previous video, and was transformed into a park in the 1870s. The park was named after President Abraham Lincoln and his assassination and became one of the most popular public spaces in Chicago. The Lincoln Park Zoo was established in 1868 and is one of the oldest zoos in the country. Since then, Lincoln Park has become one of the most sought after areas in Chicago, attracting young professionals, families, and students. It's known for its historic homes, tree-lined streets, and vibrant cultural scene. I actually love looking at some of the old photos of Chicago and Lincoln Park specifically. If you look at all the black and white photos that I'm showing up on the screen here, uh, you can just see how vastly different it's been and, and really it's incredible to see what Lincoln Park has grown into. All right, so the next section we're gonna go into are some of the things to do in Lincoln Park, and I'm gonna go pretty deep into this. I'm gonna explain a few of them um, because there's just so much to do and this is really why so many people are attracted to living and just spending time in Lincoln Park in general. So if you're looking for things to do in Lincoln Park, you will not find a shortage. This neighborhood is home to a variety of museums, theaters, restaurants, and tons of shopping. Uh, you can explore the Lincoln Park Zoo, visit Peggy Notebart Nature Museum, or see a show at the Steppenwolf Theater. If you're a foodie, well, there's definitely no shortage of foodie options. Seems like around every single corner, you have fine dining options, as well as upscale restaurants and casual cafes. Some of the most popular things to do in Lincoln Park include visiting the Lincoln Park Zoo, walking or running along the lakefront, which is my absolute favorite thing to do, visiting the Lincoln Park Conservatory, and then like I mentioned, shopping on Armitage Ave. So let's take a little bit of time and just dive into a few of these to explain a little bit more to familiarize you with each of these things. Well, let's start with the Lincoln Park Zoo, which is a staple of Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park Zoo is a great place that obviously you can visit with your family. Uh, you can go there during the winter for the zoo lights. Uh, it's open 365 days a year, and the zoo is home to over 200 species of animals. From big cats to primates, there's something for everyone at the Lincoln Park Zoo. So next up is North Avenue Beach. And if you're a beach lover, well, this is something that when I was First moving to Chicago 10 years ago, I just thought it was so strange that you could have these beautiful beaches and the sand and then have a big body of water like Michigan, but then be able to be out on the water, be at the beach and looking at this incredible skyline. Um, it, it's just a, an incredible, um, what's the word, juxtaposition. And uh, I just think it's, it's amazing that we have that we have access to that body of water here in Chicago with it being such a large metropolitan city. So North Avenue Beach, this is the lakefront beach and a popular destination for, like I mentioned, people 
uh, running along the lakefront, sunbathing, swimming, playing beach volleyball. Uh, there's a ton of intramural leagues that you can get involved with. There's just so many things that happen on the lakefront when the weather's nice here in Chicago. Uh, there's also bike rentals available, so you can take a scenic ride along the lakefront path, or if you're in for something a little bit more speedy, uh, you can rent different types of vehicles to motor around on the lakefront path. So uh, whether it be Divi bikes, uh, you have the electric ones now, you have the regular ones, um, you can actually rent kayaks here, you can rent jet skis. So there's just a lot of different things uh, for you and your family to spend time at North Avenue Beach, as well as Oak Street Beach and all the other beaches in Chicago. I actually really, really like the Kathy Osterman Beach, which is located just a little bit more north, about 15 to 20 minutes north of North Avenue Beach. Next up, we have the DePaul Art Museum. The DePaul Art Museum, if you're interested in art and culture, well, you wanna be sure to check this out. This museum is dedicated to showcasing contemporary and modern art and is located on the campus of DePaul University. It's a great place to spend a relaxing afternoon exploring new artists and exhibitions. We talked about it a little bit before, but just a few more details about the Lakefront Trail. Well, this is a stretch of 18 miles that runs along the shore of Lake Michigan and is a popular spot for cyclists, runners, and walkers. The trail offers stunning views of the lake, city, skyline, and parks along the way. I actually love along the trail during the summer, there's a lot of these like little parks and they have pull-up bars, they have dip bars. There's some different press machines and, and there's just a lot of different like healthy lifestyle things that you can encounter along the lakefront, whether it be running or cycling on the lakefront, but then also being able to pull over. So if you wanna do a dynamic workout where you're running, but then you're pulling over, doing some pull-ups, doing some push-ups, doing some dips, things like that, uh, those options are available to anyone that is healthy and active. Um, and an athlete like myself. I actually love this part about Chicago and specifically living in Lincoln Park because of the easy accessibility to the lakefront. All right, next up on the list is Armitage Avenue and most famously for you know some of the different restaurants, but mainly it's shopping. Armitage Ave is a bustling street in Lincoln Park known for its trendy boutiques, upscale restaurants, and specialty shops. Take a leisurely stroll down the avenue and enjoy window shopping, people watching, and finding unique souvenirs. Next up, we have one of my favorite things to do, which is go and see a comedy show at the famous Second City. If you're a fan of comedy and improv, you won't want to miss the Second City. This is a world famous comedy club and it has produced many famous comedians, including Steve Carell, Tina Fey, and Stephen Colbert. Tickets for Second City can range really depending on the show, the time, you know, the different supply and demand. However, you're typically gonna expect to spend somewhere between like 60 and let's say 125 to 150 dollars per ticket depending on what ticket you purchase. And last up on the list of things to do, even though there's plenty of more, a plethora of other things, but we're gonna end it with the Lincoln Park Conservatory. The Lincoln Park Conservatory is a beautiful botanical garden located in the heart of Lincoln Park. It is a great place to escape the city and enjoy the greenery, flowers, and lush vegetation. So this is actually somewhere where I will often pull off of my runs and uh, maybe at, towards the end of the run, I'll walk through uh, the conservatory. There's some benches. Sometimes I'll sit down there and I'll meditate for 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll continue my run. So uh, this is somewhere that I like to spend some time as well. So this is just a taste of all the things to do in Lincoln Park. So as you can see, there's plenty of things to do, which is why so many people continue moving to Chicago and moving to Lincoln Park specifically. And as I mentioned before, if you are doing so, feel free to just text the number on the screen. My team and I have been servicing the city of Chicago for the last 10 years. and We'd be honored to help you achieve your real estate goals. All right, next up on the list, another reason that so many people choose to live in Lincoln Park is because of the schools and the ratings of the schools specifically. If you're moving to Lincoln Park with a family, you're gonna be pleased to know that this neighborhood is home to some of the best schools in the whole entire city. There are several public and private schools in the area, including the highly regarded Lincoln Park High School and the Chicago Academy for the Arts. There are also several universities in the area, including DePaul University, as well as Northwestern University. But we can't talk about Lincoln Park without talking about the landmarks in Lincoln Park as well. Some of the most iconic landmarks in the city, well, they happen to be in Lincoln Park. This neighborhood is home to several historic buildings, including the Lincoln Park Conservatory that we just talked about, the Lincoln Park Cultural Center, and the Lincoln Park Boat Club. It is also home to the famous Oz Park, which is named after the classic American novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, which we all of course know about. I would consider the area around Oz Park is like prime time Lincoln Park. So if you're thinking about living in an area, well, your values, your home values, your price per square foot, all of that is gonna be a lot higher around this area because this is like prime time. It's close to Armitage Ave that we talked about with the shopping. It's close to Lincoln Park High School. It's close to a lot of great elementary schools. So this area around Oz Park, is, as well as the obvious reasons of having a beautiful park nearby, 
is going to be probably one of the most expensive areas to live in Chicago. All right, moving right along, let's talk about transportation in Lincoln Park and just kind of how to get around. Transportation is a key aspect to consider when moving to anywhere, and obviously you want to consider this when moving to Lincoln Park as well. The neighborhood offers several different options for getting around, including public transportation, cycling, and driving. Well, if you're taking public transit, the CTA Red Line runs through the heart of Lincoln Park and provides easy access to downtown Chicago and other parts of the city. There are also several bus lines that run through the neighborhood, providing additional options for getting around. If you like to cycle, well, there's a ton of cyclists in Chicago as well. Lincoln Park is a very bike friendly neighborhood and it has dedicated bike lanes and easy access to the Lakefront Trail, which is obviously a scenic route that runs along Lake Michigan, which we've talked about in the past on this video. But biking is a popular mode of transportation for many residents and it's a great way to get around the city while obviously getting exercise. Next up, if you drive like myself, I've always had a car in Chicago, well, Many residents in Lincoln Park also own a car and driving is a convenient option for getting around. There are several parking garages in the neighborhood and the street parking is also available for those who prefer to park on the street. Oftentimes this comes with needing to have a city sticker for your vehicle. Any car needs a city sticker, but if you also park on the street, you may wanna get an actual zone sticker. So this is gonna be an extra, probably about a hundred bucks a year. You have to renew it every single year. So it's gonna be about a hundred to $150 cost um, in order to park on the street, just to make sure you have reserved parking. It's gonna be a different parking space, but you're gonna have options because those streets are zoned for residents in that area. So if you have a zone sticker, you're pretty much guaranteed a spot. You might just have to look for it. However, overall transportation on Lincoln Park is convenient and accessible, offering residents several options for getting around the city and beyond. Next up, Lincoln Park is known as a place for foodies and dining, casual dining, fine dining, everything in between cafes. So let's go and dive into this section. Fine dining for a fancy night out? Well, you can consider dining at one of Lincoln Park's many upscale restaurants. Alinea, for example, is a highly regarded three Michelin star restaurant that offers a unique and innovative dining experience. North Pond is another top choice for a special night out. You could also go to Geha's Cafe, which is on Armitage, close to Clark Street, which is a fondue spot, which is a super fun experience. They also have outdoor tables with uh, kind of like the, the fire, like the heat lamps, so you can sit outside even when it's cold. That is a nice uh, setting and tone for a date. Also have casual dining options, so for a more relaxed atmosphere, you could head to one of Lincoln Park's many casual dining spots, such as Chia Chai Cafe, uh, which is a must for tea lovers. You have Publican, which offers a variety of delicious, sustainable seafood dishes. Uh, you have places like Rinaldi's, which is known for its beer garden and its pizza, as well as just kind of like bar food. Uh, you have uh, Bird's Nest on Southport, which is known for its crazy good wings. You definitely have to check uh, Bird's Nest out on Southport. I'm actually moving uh, somewhere near that area uh, coming soon, so I probably will be a frequent uh, Bird's Nest visitor. We're talking about fast casual when you're short on time but you still want a delicious meal. Lincoln Park also has you covered. You have Ramen San which is a popular fast casual spot. Uh, you have also have places like Starbucks or anything that you need pretty much Lincoln Park is going to have it. If we're talking about specialty foods if you have a sweet tooth like myself well there's a lot of different like bakeries and things like that. So my favorite one is actually Sweet Mandy Bees which is on Webster in the heart of Lincoln Park. Uh, that is one of the ones that I frequent. Um, actually I haven't been there in a while but during the summer I like to run by there at the end of my workout and, and grab a cupcake. Um, hard to beat, there's also sprinkles, there's uh, one called bake, um, so just tons of options for, for the foodies out there, but you also have a lot of uh, uh, healthy options such as you have, well, Equinox Gyms, you have, uh, I think they have a smoothie place in there across the street, you have a place called Pure Green if you like like acai, acai bowls and things like that. Uh, there's a ton of great options for healthy and junk food in Lincoln Park. At the end of the day, no matter what your tastes are, you're sure to find something you'll love in Lincoln Park's diverse dining scene. So go ahead and treat yourself to a delicious meal and enjoy all that this vibrant neighborhood has to offer. So that's it guys, that's the ultimate guide for moving and living in Lincoln Park, Chicago. If this has been helpful, please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the free resources down in the description and let me know what other neighborhoods in Chicago you want me to do an ultimate guide video like this for, and I'd be more than happy to do that. Without further ado, we'll catch you on the next video. If I can be of service to you or my team in any way, just text the number on the screen and we'll catch you on the next video. All right, peace.